characteristics of chemical reactions. A chemical reaction is a process in which one or more substances get converted into one or more different substances. The substances undergoing change are called reactants and the new substances that are formed are called products. A chemical reaction may occur with certain observable characteristics such as evolution of a gas, formation of precipitate, change of color, change of state, change of taste, evolution of smell and release or absorption of heat, evolution of a gas. In a chemical reaction, sometimes a gas may evolve. For example, let's take some sodium carbonate solution in a test tube. Now, using a dropper pipette, add few drops of dilute hydrochloric acid into the test tube. Observe the carbon dioxide gas coming out of the test tube with effervescence. Formation of precipitate Precipitate is a suspension of fine, insoluble solid particles in a liquid. A chemical reaction may produce precipitate of the product. When potassium iodide reacts with lead acetate, a yellow precipitate of lead iodide is formed. In a beaker, take a little amount of potassium iodide solution and add a few drops of lead acetate solution to it. You will observe that a yellow precipitate of lead iodide is formed. Change of color Sometimes, the color of the products is different from that of reactants. In such reactions, change of color indicates that the reaction has taken place. When an iron object is exposed to oxygen and moisture for a long period of time, a brown-colored iron oxide is formed. The color of the reactant iron changes from silvery white to brown. Do you know what this brown compound is called? Yes, it is called rust. Change of state. There may be a change of state in a chemical reaction. For example, reaction between solutions of potassium chromate and barium nitrate in water forms barium chromate, which is yellow insoluble solid. Change of taste. A chemical reaction may change the taste of the edible reactants. For example, the taste of a ripe mango is different from the taste of an unripe one. Note that ripening of a mango is a chemical reaction. Evolution of smell. In many chemical reactions, a smelly gas may evolve. To demonstrate this, take a pinch of ammonium chloride salt in a dry and clean test tube and add a few drops of sodium hydroxide solution. Now, heat the test tube. You can smell a pungent smelling ammonia gas coming out from the test tube. Release or absorption of heat. In many chemical reactions, there is either an absorption or evolution of heat. A reaction in which heat is evolved is called exothermic reaction and a reaction in which heat is absorbed is called endothermic reaction. Take 10 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid in a beaker. Using the laboratory thermometer, record the temperature of the acid. Now add 10 ml of dilute sodium hydroxide solution to it and again record the temperature. What do you find? The temperature would have gone up Due to the evolution of heat, the beaker would feel hot to touch. Now let us look at an endothermic reaction. Take some barium hydroxide powder in a beaker. Record its temperature using a laboratory thermometer. Now add ammonium chloride and stir the mixture well. Record the temperature again. The temperature would have fallen considerably. The beaker would feel very cold to touch. So what did we learn? Observing one or more of these characteristics may help us to decide whether a chemical reaction has taken place or not.